It may come as a surprise to some Edinans, but the street named Lois Lane has nothing to do with Superman. It was actually named for a developer's wife. Transportation planner Andrew Scipioni has a near encyclopedic knowledge about how and why our streets have their unique names. I'm Andrew Scipioni. I'm a transportation planner for the city of Edina. I've been with the city for nine years. In one particular project, I was looking at a plat map and I realized that a, a property owner name was reflected in the, the street name. And I was like, oh, that's kind of interesting. And that kind of made me think like, how many other streets are named in that way? Uh, and then it just kind of took me down a, a rabbit hole. Uh, we're uh, in Parkwood Knolls right now, which is one of the newer um, developments in Edina, but it was started in the 1940s uh, by Carl Hansen, who was a Norwegian immigrant. So there are a couple streets here that derive their origins from Norway. Dover Drive and Telemark Trail um, are a city and a county in Norway, respectively. And then uh, Fieldway was originally platted as Fjeldwayen, uh, which in, in Norwegian means the mountain way. Uh, but that apparently was determined to be too difficult to pronounce, so they changed the J to an I, and it became Fieldway. So a street named after a mountain, got flattened to be a street named after a field. There are also, some people may not know this, but there are a number of streets in Parkwood Knolls that get their names from car models. So we just passed uh, DeVille. Um, there's also uh, Biscayne, Malibu, Continental, Newport. Those were all uh, car models um, that were produced in the 60s and 70s. So here we're in the President's neighborhood and one of the main streets in Presidents is Maloney Avenue, uh, which gets its name from Michael Maloney, who was an Irish immigrant. He came to the U.S. when he was seven years old, uh, and then he enlisted in the Civil War with the Wisconsin Volunteers at the age of 16. After his service in the Civil War, he bought 160 acres here in Edina. Uh, the street that carries his name approximately bisected his property. Um, later in life, he served as a uh, clerk on the school board, uh, and he was also a member of the village council. So another street that was part of the original Normandale Platte was Normandale Boulevard. Martin and Andrew Tingdale were Norwegian, like Carl Hansen, so Normandale uh, is named for them. Of course, today, uh, where Normandale was, we have Highway 100, uh, but all of the frontage roads on uh, either side of the highway still carry that original name, Normandale Boulevard. My coworkers joke, we play games where they just like point to some random section of the map or they yell out a street name and I can just find it really easily on a map. We've got it on an online database too, but for a lot of people it's easier to just come to me and be like, hey Andrew, what's the, what's the history on the, on the street? Andrew continues to look for information and stories about any street names in Edina, and he is happy to give presentations. If you have a story or your group would like to hear more, contact Andrew at a.scipioni at edinamn.gov.